Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over the installation for Pokemon Infinite Fusion on Android. If you have any prior versions of Joyplay or RPG Maker, please uninstall them because you need the specific versions in this guide. I'll provide this guide in the video description down below. Also, as a warning, just to be aware, when you play this game it'll install sprites and they will be visible in your phone gallery. It is just kind of something you have to deal with because this game is not made for Android. So it is, you know, it's just going to clutter up your phone gallery. First thing you need to do is you need to download the game. So go ahead and click on the Google link and hit download. Next, you need to download the different plugins. I packaged them for you. So go ahead and click download on the zip folder. The third thing you will need is a tool to extract these files. I went ahead and installed RAR. So let's go ahead and install this. After it's installed, go ahead and hit open. You will be put into this screen. Now click download, and this will show the two files that you just downloaded. Long tap on them and hit extract to, and it will extract it to this folder. Do the same thing with the game files and hit extract to. Long tap and hit extract to. Once you have these two folders extracted, go home and go to your file explorer. Mine's called a maze. Yours might be named differently. It just depends on your Android device. So what you want to do is you want to go to your downloads folder and let's do the plugins first. Go into the plugin folder and start with Joyplay first. Let's go ahead and install, install, and this will install Joyplay. Let's click done. Next, go ahead and open up RPG Maker and let's install, install, and let's hit done. So now let's go back to the homepage. Let's click Joyplay and let's go through the little arrows, accept any terms, Hit OK, then we'll go ahead and allow, and click on the white area here, and you'll be on Joy Play. Click the plus sign on the top right, click Add Game, hit Choose. Now let's navigate to where the Infinite Fusion folder is, which should be on your downloads. Go ahead and go to Infinite Fusion, and scroll down, and we'll do game.exe. Preloaded, you want to use if you want to go offline and use and play this game with no internet, but you need to install all the sprites first to be able to do this. That's a different tutorial. For this one, let's just go ahead and hit game.exe, hit choose, put a name. You can put a ver uh, version if you want. And before running it, you can go ahead and change the gamepad settings if you'd like. You want to scroll down, hit settings, hit gamepad settings. And if you scroll down, this is where you can change any of the buttons. Usually the layout is perfectly fine, but if you ever want to change them, it's through here in settings. So let's go ahead. to get through to the next screen and you'll see the latest version of the now installed. Go ahead and you'll be on the main menu. If you have an issue inside the game with the keyboard not working, what you want to do is you want to go to options, go down, and change this text entry to cursor. This doesn't need to be done with every Android device, it's just some, but this is something that'll fix your keyboard. Alright, but that's it. If you have any questions or issues, let me know in the video description and I'll help you out.